Hey guys, OMG Callum here, and I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been extremely busy with school and, you know, the usual sort of stuff. So, um, I recently got a new Mac, and I was wondering what are some of the first apps I download when I get a new Mac, and some of the apps that are extremely essential to me when using a computer. So, I thought I'd compile this list of um, the five most essential apps I download when I get a new Mac. So, I guess that'll be... 2014 slash 2013 version. Anyway, so starting off with number five. Number five is caffeine. So if I launch caffeine, it's essentially a piece of software or an app that allows your computer to never go to sleep. Hence the name caffeine. Um, there are ways to set this in the settings, but it's just extremely easy to launch caffeine. Um, it'll, you launch it and it's here in your menu bar. It's like a little cup, you click it and then it'll fill up with some liquid. So it's a little like coffee. And this essentially allows your computer to never go to sleep until you unclick the caffeine icon. So that was number five, caffeine, an extremely essential app for me. Sometimes I'm watching a movie and then the computer goes to sleep or something like that. Number four. Number four is Dropbox. Dropbox is an essential application for me, especially when I'm at school. It's, it's easy to transfer files from school, at home, um, on my phone. I can have a quick look on my phone if I need to make some quick changes. And it's just, I like the way it's just seamless between all of my devices, be that an iPad, a Nexus, um, Samsung, a Mac, a PC, anything I can just log on or I can use it on my home computer and it just automatically appears and adds it here. So you can click the little icon here in the menu bar and you can see your Dropbox folder. You can open it. And it's also in your finder here and it makes itself a Dropbox folder and it's always connected. So that's just some of my. Dropbox is kind of personal, but that's Dropbox, and Dropbox is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know anything about Dropbox, I will be making a future video dedicated just on Dropbox. So that was number four. Number three is Spotify. Now I love music, and I don't like watching ads on YouTube. Yeah, so I have Spotify. Spotify, everyone knows what Spotify is. It's very similar to audio. Um, you can pay for it. I have playlists. And essentially, it's a music streaming service. So you can search for an artist. I don't know. Miley Cyrus, the people like her at the moment. And it'll come up with everything to do with Miley Cyrus. Or this kind of wrecking ball. So essentially you search anything you want, it is, although you do have to pay a premium each month to not have ads. You can have the free version, but you get ads every couple of songs or something. So that's Spotify, I love listening to music and this is absolutely essential for me. That was number three. Number two is Microsoft Office or Keynote Pages and Numbers. But open up pages because I have pages. So you can see pages here. I can just create a new document and blank one. It's extremely easy to use. Now I love the integration between pages and iCloud. I can see it on my iPad. It's always in the cloud, so it's stored. I can log into my iCloud at school or whatever. And again, I can always use Dropbox if needs be, seeing as it's more. Um, universal of all the platforms. So that's pages. Numbers and Keynote, you know, PowerPoint, um, Excel, you know, you get a gist. And my number one essential application that I have to download first on every computer I buy, be that Windows, Mac, Linux, I assume Linux has one, is Google Chrome. So you all know what Chrome is. It's Google's internet browser. Now I use this instead of Safari. I find it way more seamless, fast. 
especially it's really integrated with Hangouts and between all my devices it shows up everything and I find it an extremely useful tool to use it allows me to search Tumblr very well yeah Tumblr is amazing okay, I'm kind of drifting off but Chrome is an amazing app it's free go download it I would urge you to use it don't get me wrong Safari is a great app especially since Mountain what are we on now Mavericks I mean it's amazing but I still favor Chrome especially because of all the integration most of these apps have a lot of integration in fact um, I think all of the apps apart from caffeine have integration and I guess I am obsessed with integration so yeah thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in the new year happy holidays